Well, we tell each other to shop local here on the Sun Coast, and supporting small businesses just got a whole lot easier. The Bazaar at Apricot and Lime is a new indoor market featuring dozens of local vendors. And our shopping guide, Kim Livingood, has brought a few of them into our studio for a special preview. Well, this is great. It is a great concept in a kind of unassuming spot. How did it come together? Well, it actually started because my mother, Judy Alexander, apparently she always wanted a warehouse. <laughs> so she decided to buy one and really wanted to find a place where she could find everything that she could ever have under one roof and shop there and never have to leave. <laughs> and she found it. And uh, luckily there are so many great um, vendors and, and small business owners here on the Sun Coast. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the, the range of vendors at the Bazaar. The cool thing about the Bazaar is we do have a variety of different vendors. So we have artists, which we've brought today, but we also have people selling collectibles, vintage, jewelry, clothing, and a bakery. Wow. This is nice because I know that, you know, a lot of uh, business owners, if they use Etsy or different things online, they might not have a brick and mortar space. So to be able to get in front of a large group of people, this is a great thing. And for those of us who like to spend money. Absolutely. <laughs> it's a perfect place for them to actually enhance their Etsy shops and um, not have to do shipping. Yes, oh, <laughs> absolutely. All right. Well, you brought just a few of the many, many vendors. So let's start with Lara Lou. Laura Lou, I understand you moved, just moved here from L.A. Tell us yes. about your jewelry. Well, this is my new line. I like to call it goddess wear. I believe in the power of colors, symbols, um, the energy of, of precious stones. And when you combine them, that's when the magic happens. So if you like Buddha, you're, you'll have enlightenment. If you wear the dragon, you'll have good fortune and power and whatnot. So... Oh. Um, and, and it looks like you start with, is it precious stones and um, vintage jewelry together? Yes, the, the pendants are all unique. I have a uh, vintage Japanese bottle opener, silver plated. So they're all unusual, but they all have their symbols and meanings. And really great from Lara Lou Design. <laughs> all right, now we're going to meet another vendor, Kendall Kiner. You are with Scattered Scatter Pieces. You, I understand, are retired school teacher. Yes, I've been retired two years. Oh. Taught in Sarasota for 18 years at Wilkinson Elementary. Oh. Well, you are keeping busy with some really interesting pieces. Tell us yeah. about your fish. Well, I was staring at this grouper on the bottom uh, and looking at him on the wall thinking he was pretty ugly and <laughs> just knew he could look better. So I just started with him and um, just created some different colors and design and from there it sort of grew and now I'm in the market. I'm looking for ugly fish. So <laughs> ladies, if you have any hanging on the wall, call us at the bazaar, please. I love it. They start <laughs> as ugly fish, but they become beautiful works of art like the Van Gogh Thank you. there. Yeah. Really cool stuff. And I and I understand you do sharks or swordfish as well. Yes, or you're ready I've to. got a barracuda waiting to be <laughs> <laughs> painted. Well, right moving now. on to another uh, great set of jewelry. We start with jewelry down here, but this is Melissa Porto from Luna Vim of Holistic Treasures. Uh, sand, uh, uh, crystal anything, influence. Yes, anything earthy, anything naturally that you'll find that universe creates. Um, so I work with crystals, I work with dried flowers. And um, jewelry here on the I bottom do, that yep. we're looking at. And then I love these pieces here, tell us about, these are dream catchers? They sun are catchers? sun catchers, yes. So they are sun catchers tree of life. Um, I make them in the bonsai style and then also just a standard tree. Uh, but each one does have a different stone that represents different metaphysical properties. Um, I try to incorporate <coughs> oh. stones in every, you know, obviously all of my work. Yes, and each stone I understand has a different um, purpose it and you, you let people know that with the cards yes. in front of them. Great stuff up here, but there's even more in the studio. Stephanie, uh, who are you with? Joey, I found some great statement pieces from local artists. We're here with Karen Chandler from Karen Chandler Art and also Jay Steele from Steel View Art. Karen, let's start with you. Tell us what your work is all about. We love the bright color. Thank you. I like to paint in oil, acrylic, photography, and digital and combine it all together to make something that's a little bit different. Uh, all these ladies, we want to be them. Uh, what's your inspiration? This says very Suncoast to me. It is, it is. Uh, just people that I see 
And um, I love the colors of Florida and the light, and that's really what this is all about. Well, this will be perfect for our Florida decor. I see all sorts of different sizes and even note cards. Yes. So something we can find at the Bazaar. Thanks for joining us. Jay, you describe yourself as a Midwest boy in paradise. Tell us about your work. Uh, I create one-of-a-kind pieces of wall art using reclaimed pallet wood. All of my work is created using a handheld jigsaw. And when finished, uh, our backlit enhanced with some form of LED lighting. That's great. So. You know, I like the fact that we're mixing, you know, modern with kind of, you know, reclaimed historical pieces here. Can you do custom? Absolutely. Okay. And what's your inspiration? Like when you see something, do you envision it in wood with light? Or how do you um, decide what to make? Yeah, I try to picture what the finished product would be. Um, and I always steer towards uh, more um, challenging mm -hmm. uh, expressions of the image mm -hmm. okay, as opposed well, to just a simple silhouette I'd, I'd try to put a little more detail i know joey's Fantastic. a big fan of the turtle so these are just a couple of the artists you will see at the new bazaar let's check in with linda and see who she's found we are here with helena divine and the name of your company is life in fantasia yes oh tell me about your work you know i have been an artisan my whole life and i've always been drawn to um, fantasy movies and anything that's a little bit magical mysterious and different um, and I just started actually making um, a lot of these things just for fun for myself and it kind of took off and I've um, I found the market house in Sarasota and it's been it's been great ever since then your work has been called charmingly creepy yes that why, was actually why not is that <laughs> I don't get it <laughs> you've got eyes now what are what do you do with the eyes Here are um, the eyes well I started making bookmarks but then so many people um, don't read traditional books anymore, so everybody has a fridge, so I started making the magnets, and that's oh, kind of how that started. <laughs> and real beetles. Oh, this is yes. amazing. <laughs> You've got to come see her work. And back to you, Joey. Let's see something else you've got for us. Well, Linda, what I think I need to have is a little more money in my wallet and some time to go down to the Bazaar on Apricot and Lime. You can check it out. It runs every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Lots of stuff for the kids. This is just a sampling of all the great vendors, so many more. For more information and a full list of who you can find, you can visit them online, bazaaronapricotandlime.com. We'll be right back.